What's up, y'all? It's your girl, Miss Jenny B, and this is our Ball Alert News Break. In case you missed it, Philly rapper A.R. Ab and three of his associates have been convicted on a slew of federal drug trafficking charges. According to reports, the rapper, whose real name is Abdul West, is accused of running a violent drug trafficking network between March 2017 and June 2018 through his record label Original Block Hustlers. Not only is the rapper accused of leading the huge drug operation distributing drugs around Philly, but he's also accused of ordering hits. West and his co-defendants, members of the OBH drug organization, pumped huge quantities of deadly drugs into our communities while pretending to be legitimate artists and businessmen. United States Attorney William M. McSwain said in a statement. As a result, the rapper and his co-defendants are facing life in prison. Coldplay has officially put their tour on hold for environmental reasons. According to the BBC, frontman Chris Martin said the group is taking time off to figure out how they can make sure their touring experience is sustainable and beneficial. We're not touring this album, Martin said. We're taking time over the next year or two to work out how our tour can not only be sustainable, but how can it be actively beneficial? Although the band will eventually return to the stage, Martin said they want to figure out a way to protect the earth in the process. The hardest thing is the flying side of things, but for example, our dream is to have a show with no single-use plastic and to have it largely solar-powered, he said. An Illinois student is facing hate crime charges after he posted a photo of a black classmate on Craigslist with the caption, slave for sale. The 14-year-old student, who is white, has been charged with two counts of committing a hate crime and one count of disorderly conduct. According According to CNN, the photo was taken on November 14th at Naperville Central High. In the ad, along with the offensive caption, the student also reportedly added other offensive language. Apparently, the suspect and the victim were teammates on the school's wrestling team. In fact, according to the victim's mother, the two were once friends, but the suspect started making derogatory remarks that ended their friendship. The moment he started teasing my son, calling him dumb, making fun of his skin color, saying shut up slave last October, they are not friends anymore. The victim mother said. The incident comes just one month after a Naperville Buffalo Wild Wings made headlines for asking a group of African-American people to change tables because of their skin color to satisfy another customer. Naperville is about 35 miles from Chicago. That's all for today. I'm Miss Jenny B and this is your Ball Alert News Break.